All right, what's wrong, Giga freaking satisfying pork finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more killing Flora 2. Well then, boys, today we're gonna be playing as the gunslinger because apparently I don't play enough with it, and I did actually check, and yeah. I mean, the perks I played the most in the past couple of months were, you know, the demo, the firebug, the SWAT, the survivalist, and, and that was about it. Yep, I don't really play much perks. Now, to be fair, I don't actually play this game in my free time, I only play it when I record. Because, I mean, currently, yeah, there's just, like, no point in playing this game, it's just... just whatever, man. Oh, we'll get stunned, my dudes. Look, I can't even, like, see what I'm shooting at because they're, like, everywhere. But, yeah, I mean, the grenade that, you know, the gunslinger has, it's kind of growing on me, it's kind of like a budget stun grenade. Which is a little bit more, how would you say... Just, just meh, boy. Oh, easy clap. So I do want to talk about a little bit how you actually should be playing the gunslinger, and if you don't have aim, I would definitely recommend playing some other perks like firebug, demolitionist, support, boy. Because I mean, with the gunslinger, yeah, if you're not gonna be doing all that many headshots, yeah, there's just no point in playing him. I mean, you do have like some skills. Like the bone breaker, which you don't have to like do headshots to do like more damage. I think they just like made that intentional for the people that don't actually will I shoot the head all that often. But yeah, generally speaking, if you're gonna be playing the gunslinger, yeah, headshots are where it's at. Hey yo. Okay, spin the weapon, yeah boy up, uh, just like that. Dude, I just love you know the way. The, the 1858s feel, they're just like so satisfying to play with, boy. And it could be just me, but you know, bashing with these weapons, yeah, it does feel extremely, extremely... Well, yeah, satisfying, I mean, they just feel like they always connect for some reason. I mean, look at this dude, boy. Just fuck him up. Hey, boy. I well, didn't even need to bash him, but I did it anyway. Boy. See, look, I mean, you don't really have to, like, try with the gunslinger if you got, you know, a little bit of, you know, gaming experience. Yeah, killing floor makes it really, really easy for you to... Will I just get into the groove of things? Now, I'm just gonna say one thing. A lot of people use a crosshair in Killing Floor 2, and that makes them, you know, a lot freaking better because they, like, always know where the bullets are gonna be going. I personally don't use a crosshair, as you can see, because I just like developed a feeling on where the bullets are gonna be going. At least, generally. I mean, I do, like, miss a lot of shots sometimes, but it is what it is. A hey boy. Like a freaking spooders out of nowhere, eh? So yeah, I did actually pick the Piranha Pistol because I feel like this thing is giga giga satisfying. But that could be just me. I mean, if you guys want, you know, the meta stuff, yeah, they're going to be the AFs, they're going to be the Desert Eagles, yeah, they're going to be the what's it called, the Magnums. Even the Glock 18C. I mean, that thing is like a trash clearing machine. Okay, that was nice. Just absolutely demolished, my man. Hey, what the fuck? We cannot back. The fuck was that? I think I like lagged before I even like shot the man. Hey yo, we got another quarter pound up and my man just died. Well is shit. Oh, I can't even like see half the stuff. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the way this thing just absolutely obliterates the friggin' right here is yeah, it's just so nice. Yeah boy. I I don't like the bash. The only thing I dislike about this weapon is the bash. It feels a little bit too fast. And sometimes it just doesn't Will I feel like it should be bashing? E hey boy. Oh, okay. Stalker is bane of my existence. Get the fuck out. And that's an Edar. Okay, can I do a long range? Hey, I actually got him. What about again? Coolio. So yeah, the gunslinger in general, if you got some good aim, yeah, that's when the spark is gonna be shining. E hey boy. Oh, that was bad. E hey boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, I mean, I'm probably gonna, like, switch to, you know, the meta stuff for, you know, the Fleshbone Scrakes and bosses. But for the Piranha Pistol, yeah, I do love the single one. I don't really love the dual one. Same with, you know, the Glock. So, yeah. Hey, boy. Well, that was a complete freaking whiff on the bloat. Quick little cheeky heel. Hey, boy. Okay, I do have, like, a husk freaking behind my ass. So, will I just go and kill my man real fucking quick? And Usk, not sure exactly what your priorities are. Look, I'm just like missing everything here. 
So the piranha, if you're playing on like a corridor map, you essentially have unlimited ammunition, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's go for the Glock, let's go for... Should I go for the Desert Eagles? Okay, you know what? Dual freaking Desert Eagles. Let's fucking go. So I do have this shit for, you know, the little things and these for... Well, yeah, the bigger ones. I mean, to be fair, you can just, like, use this thing for the core pawns as well. I mean, it's doing... Well, yeah, quite pog freaking damage. But yeah, the Glock 18 see this thing... Yeah, it was probably one of my better purchases in Killing Floor 2 because it just, like, makes the Gunslinger... Not really feel like the gunslinger anymore. It, it feels more like a freaking SWAT, to be honest. Wait, what the f- Freaking stalkers out of nowhere. But yeah, the Desert Eagles, yeah, they're still pretty much king at, you know, killing... Big things, medium things, you name it. Like this poor freaking Skrook in just a couple of seconds here. And if I don't actually miss some shots, there we go, boy. Yeah, the Desert Eagles definitely just... Hey, yo, fidget, what are your plans? Yeah, boy. Hey, yo, siren, don't you be doing any shna- Wait, was that a stalker? Oh, but of course. Okay, get some free rack mops, chop up your fucking kneecaps, and just spray and fucking pray. Yeah, boy. Oh my god, stalkers, man. Yeah, the only zeds I dislike with my gunslinger are probably gonna be spooders and stalkers, anything else. Yeah, just give me even more of them. Oh god, the Glock. I oh, yeah, don't really need to try with the Glock, boy. It's just such a... How would you say? Good ass freaking weapon. Well, can I actually shoot him from far? I'm oh, probably not. Oh god damn. Oh. Okay, can I actually get your fuel tank? Yes, I can. Clapped up. The only problem with the gunslinger, especially on multiplayer, is its lack of ammunition. But, I mean, as long as you got the Glock 18C, yeah, you should be pretty freaking good, you know, mid-waves, because this thing, yeah, it's got a lot of ammunition, man. Ooh, spooder. Tefok. Oh, and of course, he just, like, went to block his stupid ass head over there. Yeah, boy. Oh, I'm getting slapped up by another spooder, eh? Nice. Hey, yo, what the fuck's going on here? Okay, not much, apparently. Yeah, boy. And another boy. Nice. Okay, by the way, does anyone else hate how he just, like, runs with the Glock 18C? I mean, look at this shit. It just feels like he's, like, skipping frames. The fuck? Okay, ought to fill this shit up. Let's just get some, I know, dual AF 2011s just for the memes. And yeah, skip the trader and let's see what we can possibly do. I mean, not only is the Glock, you know, good for killing little things, it's also good for getting rack em ups really, really fast. Because let's say you got like a raging flesh bound coming for your ass, yeah, you're just gonna be getting some rack em ups and then just like shooting them with your primary damage dealing weapon. If that makes sense. Boy. Oh, god damn. Oh, and there's a core pound apparently just like stuck over there. Well. Should I even kill him? Or should I just, like, let him get unstuck? Ain't sure. Okay, I think there was, like, a sec- Okay, yeah, here he is. Okay, just get that. Rack him up, then just, like, shoot him up with your... Well, yeah, other damage-dealing weapons. Okay, by the way, did you guys know this? Yep, you can actually get, like, infinite ammo mags on the floor, which is... Kinda dumb looking, if you ask me. How did you just explode? What the f- yeah, Glock, just like the best freaking weapon you can get out of all the DLC ones, I do believe. Okay, that and the Frostfang. Because the Frostfang definitely whoops up the Skrooks. Probably just like a cheat code for Skrooks. Hey, yo. Dude, I've just been playing, you know, the secondary so freaking much. I just like forgot about how to play with, you know, these weapons now. I mean, the Deagles and the dual AFs, yeah, they're pretty pointless. In solo, I do believe. You can just, like, only have the Glock and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, Stalker, out of my way. Siren, what are your priorities here? Okay, you know what? Just because I got these weapons, let's just go and use them for a little bit. Just so I won't be playing with just, like, one... Well, yeah, type of weapon for the entirety of the game. Boy. Hey, yo, fidget. The fuck? What the fuck was that? Stalker. Yep, stalkers are still the bane of my existence here. Hey, yo, we got a screw. Is he stuck? 
Okay, this map has a lot of bugs, I do believe, boy. Wait, is he stuck? Nope, he's actually moving around over there. Boy. Okay, Edar, I just hate you with a passion. You don't belong in this game out of my face. Boy. So, I did see, like, a lot of people also not, you know, bashing the Zeds, and I don't know why. Because I feel like bashing the Zeds is, like, the best thing you can do in Killing Floor 2. Because it pretty much guarantees... Well, yeah, a stumble back, and that sometimes can save your ass. Oh, fleshy punt, eh? Okay, let's just go for deals. There we go. What's oh, another one? Fam, what are your plans? Okay, quick little cheeky heal. Probably not gonna get like any more flesh bones. We do have a screwy screw, though. Okay, let's just get his attention. It just like that. Dude, I just hate how this thing is like so inaccurate at range. But I mean, if it were accurate. Yeah, I wouldn't see much of a reason to get other weapons besides this one. Okay, now we got the boss. Oh, patriarch, man. Yeah, this shit should be pretty freaking easy. Oh, and I can hear him coming from all the way over there somewhere. But I mean, the secret to, you know, killing the patriarch is to just get... Well, yeah, something in between. I mean, it could be a house, it could be a car, it could be literally anything. Yeah, he doesn't really do all that well if he got something in between. I mean, fair enough, I just like got stuck on the corner there, but you know what I mean. Oh, god damn. Did he just get stuck on the rock? Well then, boys, this was pretty much it for probably the most satisfying perk in Killing Floor 2. Now, obviously, if you got like a crosshair and stuff like that, yeah, it's just gonna be a mistake. But, I mean, if you don't have a crosshair, yeah, you do have to be very, very, how should I say, experienced in the game to actually hit, you know, some shots. So, yeah, do let me know in the comments, do you guys even use a crosshair for Killing Floor 2 or do you just like play like me and just, will I wing it? I mean, to be fair, I got like 3000 hours in this game, so it would be quite embarrassing if I will have missed my shots. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.